Hi everyone and welcome to video number 5. In this video I'll be showing you how to write effective ads for Google AdWords. To create a new text ad, first we need to log into our Google AdWords account. Once logged in, under the Campaign Management tab, click on Campaign Summary. Don't worry about this um, warning message right here. It's because I haven't filled in my billing information. Um, to get rid of it, all you need to do is fill in your credit card or billing information by clicking either this link or under the My Account tab. Anyway, uh, once you're in the uh, Campaign Summary page, cl uh, choose the uh, choose the campaign name that you want to edit the ad for by clicking on the campaign name. Then choose the ad group that you want to edit. Okay, when you're in the ad group, uh, make sure that the ad variation tab is selected. If it's not selected, you can click on it to select it. As you can see here, you can add, uh, create a new text ad, image ad, local business ad, mobile ad or video ad. Uh, for this example, I'll show you how to create a new text ad. Uh, and to do that, just click on this create new ad text ad button. Okay, a typical text ad has a headline, two lines of description, a display URL and a destination URL. This is our existing ad that we had set up for this ad group before. Let's make another ad with a slight variation so we can test between the two ads to see which one outperforms the other. Uh, for this example, I'm going to leave everything else the same, but uh, I'm going to change the second line of de uh, the description. Uh, so let's just change this to money back guarantee order now. now once you're done, just click Save Ad button and your ad is instantly created. So here you can see two different variations of the ad. Um, everything looks exactly the same except this second line of description. Over time, you'll get some statistics on here. Um, so you'll get uh, different figures for, for each of these ads, uh, which will be able to help you determine which ad is performing better. Than the other. Um, just de delete the one that's not converting as well and introduce a new vari uh, variation of the ad to test with the winning ad. So you keep doing this and uh, you end up with over time uh, what you end up with is a, a high performing ad that converts. Uh, this process is called A-B split testing. Uh, I recommend uh, letting these numbers to uh, come to you know a, a reasonable figure before you make a, a, a decision on or a conclusion on which ad performs better. Okay, so here are some basic tips for writing effective ads. Um, capitalize the first letter of each word. Um, what I mean by this is for each word in your ad, make the first letter of that word uh, capital, uh, higher caps. Uh, this has proven again and again to achieve a higher click through rate. The eye is trained to read words with different heart letters and capitalizing um, the first letter of each word will help the viewer to read your ad more easily and effectively. Okay, where possible use numbers and special characters. Special characters seem to attract the eye and cause the viewer to click your, on your ad. So try to use um, numbers and special characters uh, wherever possible. However, don't use multiple exclamation marks as it will look spammy to Google and Google can punish, punish you for that. Uh, where possible, use a, a question mark at the end of your headline. It's been tested and proven over and over again that ending your headline with a question mark improves the click-through rate of your ad. So if you can make your headline a question with a question mark at the end, uh, it's been proven to, to uh, boost up your CTR or your click-through rate. Use keywords or key phrases in your ads. Each time the searched keyword or key phrase is mentioned in your ad, this term, uh, the keyword or the key phrase, is bolded. So this captures the eye of the of the searcher and increases the click-through rate. 
so um, try to use keywords and key phrases in your ad copy as much as you can okay dynamic keyword insertion um, another technique that you can use for writing relevant ads is dynamic keyword insertion and uh, what this is is that you can dynamically put in the keyword that the user search for into your ad um, use this technique with caution though because when implemented incorrectly your ad can sound like gibberish and not make any sense an ex example of when you may want to use this technique is um, when you have a shoe store and you sell different brands of shoes you may want to create an ad group with all the brand names as keywords that you're bidding on and use dynamic keyword insertion to make your ad more relevant to what the user is looking for so for example uh, let's say the user searches for Nike shoes uh, your ad can automatically respond with uh, looking for Nike shoes as a headline uh, yet if they're searching for Converse shoes your ad can automatically adjust itself to show looking for Converse shoes instead of looking for Nike shoes uh, just be careful when you bid for brand names though because some companies trademark their brands in AdWords and bidding for them uh, for these brand terms may not be allowed so just check with the company of the brand uh, if you're unsure okay this is how you use dynamic keyword insertion the syntax goes uh, that squiggly bracket keyword uh, colon and then the default keyword that you want to put in there if um, the search term is too long for for your ad for the line in your ad so an example of this uh, of what we said before would be looking for and then the syntax of the dynamic keyword in session keyword shoes what this does is uh, it, if the search term is long and uh, remember how each line of description or headline etc has a, has a maximum amount of characters um, it, if the search term is too long and does not fit in the particular line of this ad the default will be used and in this case the default is sports so this ad would say looking for sports shoes uh, however if the keyword is short enough for example if the user searches for Nike and Nike is a keyword in, in th th this ad group that you're uh, bidding for then your ad will show up as looking for Nike shoes this is great not only for relevancy but also for click-through rate because uh, however be careful when you use this technique because um, let's say the user searches for the term Nike shoes um, both words Nike's, uh, Nike and shoes your ad may end up saying something like looking for Nike shoes shoes which doesn't really make any sense and I've seen a lot of AdWords advertisers make this mistake so to overcome uh, this, this problem use the exact match when setting up your keywords I'll explain what this means in the next video about keywords and keyword research. So I'll see you in the next video. For more free videos like this one, go to www.paperclickacademy.com.